we're party people. Uh, how is everybody doing on this Thursday? We're so close to the weekend and yet so fucking far. Um, my tummy hurts. If you followed me on Twitter, you would have seen that my tummy hurts. So I'm in a cozy sweatshirt and I have a cozy blanket and I have a cozy bottle of this sparkling lemon lime thing because it's the closest thing I have to Sprite right now. And, you know, that age old... That age-old uh, tried-and-true method of making your tummy not hurt is drinking Sprite and just letting the bubbles do the work. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's where I'm at. So today is going to be a little bit cozier than what yesterday or the prior days were. Um, but hello, Source! It's good to see you. How are you doing today? Oh, goodness. I'm tired, too. It's been a week work has been kind of bleh and now I feel bleh I never got to go on my walk today I did sit in the sun but yeah <laughs> that's where I'm at it's a chill stream today super chill also I'm gonna go ahead and open this you hear that fizz that fizzy fizz mmm delicious all right so I'm gonna be playing some up to 14 pages and 20 that's amazing that's really good progress how how what's your what's like your goal is it like a page goal or is like 20 plus scenes would that be where in the movie would you say that is like is that like i have the whole beginning done or do you have do you do it in order or do you well i guess you wouldn't you'd have to i'm asking dumb questions <laughs> Do you have like, give me like a time estimate of what, <laughs> how long the movie would be if just what you have put together was filmed, I guess is my, my question. Since I'm not super mega familiar with screenwriting. Um, I'm going to be playing a mortician's tale today, uh, again. Uh, so I've, I kind of, I've kind of scrapped you, Nikki. It just. I wasn't feeling it. It was boring to me. And I know that's like really sad and maybe I'll revisit it sometime. It, maybe it's one of those things you just kind of have to play yourself and sit with and like really, I don't know. It just didn't seem very fun on stream. And I was like, I can't even look at the walkthrough. Like I didn't want to walk, walk through the whole thing on sh Anyway, it just, so I'm playing this game instead. Um, I actually also today bought, finally, like I finally bought it. I, I was like, I'm putting it on my wish list so I don't forget it. I actually put a... Uh, 14 pages is more like the beginning and act one nearing the end. Okay. Okay. 30 pages is an act. Hey, today. See, that's, that's a good goal. Okay. Wow. That's, that's half of it. If it's act one, act two, and then like maybe act three, unless you want to do four acts. And I guess it's only a fourth, but still though, that's a, a heck of a ton of, a heck of a ton of pro progress. I can't speak today. I'm so sorry, y'all. I like <laughs> I'm tripping over my words like the way I was tripping over the words when I was speaking of, I was gonna say, these motherfuckers, these spicy bean boozles. First of all, I've learned my lesson. I've absolutely learned my lesson. I am a baby, like an, a, a little sweet baby child. Also, these things don't fuck around. Um, that's probably a part of why I've, my, my tummy aches. I say, saying my tummy aches makes me feel so immature, but seriously, that's probably why I have a stomach ache. Um, so I'm going to be like doing way fewer of those. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Um, what was I talking about? More stations tail. Those triggering content warnings. Let me get those. I'm babbling. I'm all over the place right now, y'all. I'm so sorry. All right, here are the triggering content warnings. Uh, there's the link to doesthedogdie.com. Uh, everything's explained. Uh, there, but also I will put them up on screen right now. Boom. There's really not that many. This game is, you know, it's pretty sh small and short and simple and I like it. Um, but there is some mild blood and gore just because you do have to like drain the bodies and things like that. Death and suicide are obviously involved. It's a mortician at a, at a mortuary with funerals. Um, there's also kind of like talks. I, it's, it kind of feels like a hospital, just like the, the room. Um, but 
you know, there's talk of hospitals and morgues and things like that. So I wanted to include those. And uh, also shaving and cutting because I do have to make incisions in the body. Uh, it's really not graphic at all. This is like a very mild, uh, very, very mild game about being a mortician. And that, what I was saying, that's what I was saying before. I finally bought the mortuary assistant, which is like the hardcore version of that, where it's like really, truly uh, terrifying and uh, pee your pants scary which I do plan on playing later. But today, we will be enjoying this cute little indie darling of a game. So, hoping to finish it by Halloween. Oh yeah, that would be, that would be like a, my, <gasps> four essential headshot portraits of the main characters. Oh my gosh, yay, I get to, you want me to draw Miles and that everybody again? I would absolutely love to do that. I loved those characters too. They were super fun the first time around. So I'd love to take another whack at them if you if you if you let me. <laughs> That's exciting though. That'd be really cool to finish it by Halloween because then you're like zombie movie Halloween. Perfect. Um, all right, I'm gonna get the game fired up. I'm not gonna keep you guys in suspense. All righty. Beautiful game. Is it loaded up? I was also testing some games last night with the um <laughs> Oh thanks. I'm glad I'm your little I'm your little art buster, who are you gonna call? Um I was also testing some games last night uh after after stream with there's I realized that there's the um it's kinda quiet for me. There's like the bandwidth test thingy that you can use in OBS? Didn't know that existed. Or maybe they added it. I don't know. But maybe it'll help me make sure my games aren't, you know, like potato quality by the time I run them. Because there's one that I, I got called Made of Scare that looks pretty terrifying. And it's also kind of high-res graphics type. Lots of polygons. It's not, it's not a, a anyway. Um, let's continue our, our, uh, our tale as a mortician named Charlie. We're in March. You lost sleep for a week? God, I see, I might need to get, like, a buddy to play with. I might need to have somebody, like, please hold my hand while I do this, because... I don't normally play, like, stuff like that, but I want to, I need to get, I need to get stronger. <laughs> Um, oh goodness. Okay, so here's, ah, this is our, our new, we just got bought out by Hillside Heritage Enterprises, the big, the big boys of the funeral industry. Um, and we lost our cute little, sort of lost our cute little mom and pop, or I guess Rose and Daughters. <laughs> so it's mom and dup. No, it's not mom and dup. <laughs> Um, we lost our, uh, small business status, I guess. Mm, delicious. Um, funerals monthly. The appeal of a home funeral is apparent for many, especially if the deceased was somebody very close to you. The idea of keeping them at home until they're ready to be buried or cremated can be comforting. I don't know if I'm a, I like that, personally. But then again, you never know how grief is going to strike you, and... I don't know, I feel like just... I think it would probably... I'd probably get too logical about it, and I would, like, sit there and be like... There is a corpse. In the living room. But I guess... It's basically the same thing as a funeral home, but just your home... Anyway. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that we were taking care of our own deceased, but nowadays people are quick to pass off their loved ones to a funeral home. Which I kind of thought was for, like, safety reasons. Because, <laughs> like... Decay <laughs> is a thing. <laughs> um, funeral homes... Oh, wait, no. I just skipped it. Most, most, uh, my brain is moving way faster than my mouth. Most families aren't given the option and assume this is mandatory. Funeral homes will mo almost always prepare the deceased using embalming and other methods to make them appear more alive. But is, isn't this process counterintuitive to the grieving process? It absolutely is. It's 
harrowing. I remember when I first found out, like I found out about like the actual embalming and all that, all these processes before even this, before this game or the other one came out and I was like, that is disgusting. The fact that we do that. And it's like, uh, yesterday when I was, I was talking about different burial, burial techniques, and there was like that one where they dismember you and put you into like various plant things to help di like, you know, stimulate plant life and whatever for oh, very organic, very, very put your, very give back to nature type way of bury, but it's like slightly illegal because in some, uh, some states there's like laws about desecrating a body and chopping you up is kind of desecrating your body. And even if you give permission to do so, it was like a really weird gray, gray area and a line. You would think that like, Involving and like the entire process all these different ways that we like make the body appear more alive would still fall under the desecration thing but it doesn't it's weird but I'm learning a lot um the idea of keeping the deceased body at home might sound gross but it's important to understand that decomposition takes a long time yeah but still <laughs> and you can further slow this process by keeping your home cool and dry well that's sometimes really hard <laughs> when you live in a climate that's very much hot and wet. <laughs> uh, to be around your loved ones and to see them decay naturally is an important part of the grieving process. Is it, isn't it like with animals you're supposed to, like if you have two pets in the house and one of them dies, you have, to, or is that just dogs? I know it's like better for dogs to see, like if they were around another dog a lot, it's better, it's best for them to see that the other dog is dead because it like helps them make sense of it. Cause it's, I don't know. It gives them a way to grieve in their own dog way. I've just, I heard, I remember reading that somewhere after one of, um, one of my family dogs died and I, and our other dog became, it was really sweet, but like also really sad to watch cause he got really, really depressed. He's better now, he's better now, but he was really depressed that his friend had passed. And I mean, as were we. Um, Home funerals aren't just more intimate, but more economical. A traditional funeral, complete with body preparation, service, flowers, cards, and many other hidden costs and fees, can cost upwards of $7,000 to $10,000, which is why life insurance is a thing, because those after-death costs can skyrocket. Uh, when you're able to take care of your loved one yourself, to wash and dress them, and to organize their viewing from home, the only cost remaining is entirely in the cremation or burial itself. However, it's important to understand that different rules apply given what state you live in. See? That's what... That's what I was talking about. Um. Oh my god! Why don't all dogs have, like, anxiety? Wait, does that mean all dogs have anxiety? Because that is, like, quite the extreme. Assumes you're dead or never coming back. That's so sad! But then if the dog doesn't really care, I guess they're just like, alright, I guess they're dead. Meanwhile, cats are like, well, if you don't feed me for a couple weeks and you're lying there on the on the carpet, I might as well take a little nibble. <laughs> Actually, I think dogs might end up doing that too. I think it's just like an animal instinct to be like, I gotta eat. Got to eat. That's gross. Um, but that's really sad. I will make sure that I'm visible to my dog as much as I possibly can be. <laughs> um, in all states, it is legal to have your loved one's body at home after they die. States like Alabama, Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, Nebraska, New Jersey, and New York require a funeral director's involvement, from signing the death certificate to overseeing burial or cremation. If this is a route you decide to go for yourself or your loved one, make sure you follow everything by the book. <clears throat> but just know that this may be an option available to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to like burp straight into the microphone. Some dogs will late. Oh my god, that's really depressing. Oh, that, oh my god, I remember the, uh, it's like the dog episode of Futurama. If you're a Futurama fan, you know what I'm talking about. Alright. Uh, this is our friend, Jen Love. Dr. Zayas. I just saw a video of a gorilla walking on its hind legs. Like a human being, Charlie, a human being. We, as a species, have seen the beginning of our end. Girl. <laughs> Um, Charlotte. I hate that the, the new people call her Charlotte, even though she's literally asked them to call her Charlie. She's like, I would like to go by Charlie. 
just so <clears throat> anyway charlotte i'm proud to announce that hillside heritage enterprises inc chad um received a contract with the city to dispose of any unclaimed bodies this is an important revenue stream for us as i'm sure i don't need to explain to you charlotte i hate that it's god it's so condescending even through email Although Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. is being paid a decent wage from the city for these services, cremation is preferred here as it is the more cost-efficient of the two options. Hello, Draco! How are you? How are you doing? The first unclaimed body we'll be handling belongs to a middle-aged man, possibly houseless, uh, whose body has yet to be claimed. No sprep... I just about blended those words. Spleperations, I almost said. Special preparations are needed for this cadaver aside from... Don't call him a cadaver. Come on! Why can't... This cadaver. Come on. That's so... Ugh. Doing better now that your anger is under control? Um, that's good. <laughs> I'm sorry that you were angry. Um, green burial policy. Uh, hello, Charlotte. I have a future request on behalf of a potential family inquiring if we at Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. can and will perform green burials. I should have informed you of this in the beginning, but we do not perform green funerals as they are not cost effective. All employees and subsidiaries of Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. must comply. We do not wish to lose potential customers, though. So do try your hardest to convince the families requesting green burials to instead choose a traditional burial package, complete with embalming caskets and vaults instead. I trust you will ensure we do not lose any customers, Charlotte. I hate this motherfucker. I hate him. He's a jerk. Uh... Oh my god, so many emails from Chad! Uh... Rose and daughters, hello. As stated in the previous email, here are the new rules and code of conduct I expect you to follow from now on while on any premises belonging to Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. First and foremost, there is a required uniform and strict dress code from now on. Second, oh, hell no. Come on, fuck this shit. Second most importantly to this is that no tattoos are to be to visit are to be visible. If you have visible tattoos, ensure they are properly covered and hidden. Fuck off. Fuck off. First of all, first of all, nothing about having a tattoo, nothing about having a tattoo indicates that you cannot do your job. <laughs> also, I, it doesn't have an effect on how, it's not like once you are tattooed, you, you slowly are degrading your ability to do your job. Like it just doesn't, it has no effect. Absolutely none. And Family figured it wouldn't be good to keep you from talking so That's good. I'm glad that you have like a have like a way to connect. Um well, I'm back on my rant when I Oh my god. If I could get my brain to like sync up with everything else, that'd be great. Um tattoos. I have visible tattoos. And also, this is such a- it's such a fucking myth nowadays, too. Well, I guess it's not a myth, because it's still pretty much- it. But, like, I got a corporate job with green hair and visible tattoos. And you know what? Neither of which had any effect on how I did my job, and I still do a good job. That's important. That is important. I have to set a reminder for myself so I take my meds when I need them. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna change my position getting all fired up about these tattoos. Also, I know that this is like supposed to be a targeted thing to this poor girl. Hey, it happens. You just gotta, you gotta like, move past it. Um, anyway, uh, when speaking with customers and clients, consider the opportunity to upsell. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this man. I hate Chad, Chad Grant from Heritage, whatever the fuck. Sometimes, some, maybe that's, that's like a, what am I trying to say? Maybe it'll come to you later. Um, oh my God, I'm losing my track of thought. When speaking with customers, because it, oh, it always encourages the deceased loved ones to purchase the higher quality 
package. We find that encouraging loved ones to think of the comfort and style of the deceased as an experience with no price limit on it. Additionally, food is no longer allowed to be brought in. Instead, encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food package. Our partner catering concepts provides high quality food that will be delivered weekly from their factory. It can easily be defrosted the morning of the funeral. Well, there's no heart in that. I expect all of the above changes to be instituted effective immediately to ensure a smooth transition into the high quality services Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. is known for. And then Matthew Jeffrey said, Charlie, I need a drink. Be it after work. Yeah, fucking same, bro. That if I well, if I worked there. Well, I guess Charlie works there, so I kind of do work there. <laughs> um, P.S. Also, I really want mozzarella sticks. I can be both hungry and angry, and no, I will not say hangry ever. Ah, come on, dude. Come on. You know that's what it is, though. Okay, I'll take care of it. This poor man. See, she has tattoos, and they're gonna make her cover it up. Why? Who's gonna say anything about the visible tattoos? The dead person? I'm sure they don't mind the tattoos either. That's so, just, God. Like, okay, I understand like working in a medical, like nails are a little bit of a different story because like, I mean, I don't have any on right now, but I know like, fake nails, acrylic nails, like, those really, like, really long ones, the really pretty ones, the ones that you can, like, just deck the fuck out, where they're, like, bedazzled, and there's, like, super pretty designs. Love it. Wish I could do that, but I am really rough on my hands. I think it's because I just, but I digress. Um, I get that, and those in a medical s sense would, like, those could get in the way. They'll rip your gloves, which are, like, providing, you know, the gloves that are helping to keep everything sterile. Also, Stuff gets underneath nails. The longer they are, the more gunk can under get under there. So that's like just a, a, a asking for germs everywhere. So I get that. But tattoos and hair color? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> no one should give a fuck. Uh, before we cremate this gentleman, we'll need to prepare his body. He doesn't seem to have any valuables on him that would be damaged during cremation, so let's just worry about putting his identification tag into the coffin with him. Alright. Alright, he's all set. At least he still gets an urn. Grab the. Oh, I guess I gotta grab the skull first. Oh, there it goes. I was like, let me grab the bone, please. Oh, I guess we are having a funeral. Well, her dress covers up her tattoo, so I guess it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's really sad. There's nobody here. Well, I'm gonna pay respects. Everybody deserves to be respected. April 9th. All right, gotta check my email. I bet I have another email from Chad. What's the email about now, Chad? What are you gonna, what are you gonna say? Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Water cremation, water cremation? What is water cremation? We can call it a few different things, like a, like flameless cremation, a bit of an oxymoron, but we'll let it slide. Is it? I guess, yeah, actually. I guess kind of. Um, or perhaps more commonly, resonation. Its technical name, though, is actually alkaline hydrolysis. Very scientific sounding. <laughs> uh, whatever we want to call Wait, alkaline hydrolysis. Wait, isn't that what they do to those some of those fancy water bottles? Like, they try to upsell the water because it's... Wait, hold on. Let me, I'll read more. Uh, but for the sake of this new letter, uh, environmentally... 
it. Whatever we want to call it, it's here and it's environmentally friendly alternative to traditional cremation. But for the sake of this newsletter, we'll, let's call it water cremation. We all know that traditional cremation and burials take a huge toll on the environment. The high energy consumption that adds to the greenhouse gas effect being one of the chief amongst them. And water cremation is an alternative method available for the eco-conscious amongst. Amongst. Among us. Uh, how does it work? It's basically a water-based chemical process that uses really strong alkali in water heated up very high, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it basically works like a sped-up version of natural decomposition. The excess water gets put through the same water treatment process as any sewage water at a factory, and alkaline hydrolysis uses significantly less energy than traditional cremation processes. Neat, huh? It's been around for a bit, and in some places became legal around the end of the first decade of the aughts. Not a bad alternative for those who don't want their death to have any greater impact on the environment than necessary. So it basically just like boils them? Oh, she kissed her! Dating a special effects makeup artist and she is like the coolest person I've ever met in my life. She totally loves Ava's possession and was equally freaked out by the possession scenes. Um, but so utterly delighted at the idea of a support group for people who have been possessed. That was your best recommendation in a while, Charlie. You were slipping there. I was getting worried that you had lost your taste. But yeah, her name is Lily. Ha ha, her name is Lily. <laughs> and she's super death positive. Go figure. And it isn't freaked out by my work and also isn't too into it like last dude I saw. Jason? Michael? God, I can't remember. Ah ha 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 ha. I see what they did there. <laughs> wow. Lily, Jason, and Michael. I just really like spending time around her. I can talk about whatever I want, and it's never a conversation stopper. She also totally gets what I mean when I say that I like working with death, and spending so much time thinking about de death actually makes me happier. It makes everything else feel so much more worth it, you know? Memento mori, or whatever they taught us in that one poetry class we took. We just clicked. Feels good. Fun and affirming, like dating should be. I'm thinking of taking her to Maple Meadows. She's super into roller coasters, and I think the idea of sharing cotton candy, or maybe not, I don't want to throw up on the rides, is sickeningly cute. It is sickeningly cute. Uh, then maybe I'll kiss her on top of the Ferris wheel. Be super corny and cliche for once in my life. Anywho, enough about me for now. I'm still kind of in shock from your last email. Do you think you're going to do it? You know you have my support 100%, no matter what you decide. Charlie, it's official. I put in my two weeks notice. You know how unhappy I am working for Mega Corporation 101. My skills, especially my driving ones, are useful in other professions. I'm not worried about myself, but you, you I am worried about. You're too good for this corporate scum. You actually care about the people you work with and for. Don't let them defeat you, okay? P.S. I'll bring over beers next week. We can talk a bit more freely. Charlotte. I see you were not able to convince the Dimka family to take a standard funeral. I had to contact them myself in order not to lose this sale. Please read the enclosed emails for a lesson on how to properly upsell potential customers. I want to punch this man through the computer. I don't want to see that we've lost any customers because of your refusal to upsell. That is part of your job. Fuck. Off. Chad. That is... Regarding the last time we spoke, my daughters and I would still prefer to host a home funeral ourselves and keep my wife here until she's ready to be buried. I just want to make sure she's taken care of. Her heart attack was so sudden, I, we don't know what to do, we just want to make sure she has a proper send-off. Dear Mr. Dimka, I understand your desire to keep your wife at home, but I assure you, the best way to honor your wife is through a traditional funeral package instead. I promise you your wife's funeral with us will be a beautiful, intimate gathering where all of her beloved friends and family can come together and say their goodbyes. A standard embalming will allow for everyone to view your wife, ensuring that everyone can see her one final, final time as she was, beautiful, peaceful, and courageous, and stuffed full of cotton balls and chemicals. Uh, letting us take care of the food with our prepared food service will ensure you don't have to you don't have a single thing to worry about on this day. You and your daughters are going through a hard time right now. Let us here at Rose and Daughters make this difficult time a little easier for you. He just wants the money. He doesn't care about these people. Okay, we'll take the traditional funeral package. Thanks for considering us in this hard time. Sure thing, I'll get right to it. Oh shit, shit, oh fuck, I, hold on, I'm not done. Cool, I'm glad I didn't lose that, okay. Uh, oh, there she is, I'll get right to it. Charlie, 
She even signs it Charlie, and this motherfucker still calls her Charlotte. You know that's a power move, too. You know it's like some weird, stupid, petty, corporate bullshit power move. Uh, hello all, we are thrilled to announce that Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. subsidiary Rose and Daughters just signed a contract with Morning Valley Hospital, allowing us to access all of the cadavers that come through their pediatric and maternity, maternity wards. We're excited for the opportunity to work with Morning Valley Hospital, which intakes over 100,000 patients and receives over $15 million in funding and donations annually. This will no doubt be a boon for Hillside Heritage Enterprise Inc.'s bright and sustained future. National Revenue Agency. F oh man, I'm gonna start my own funeral service business. Register your business permits. Wait, can I? I see there's a scroll bar, but it's not scrolling anything. All right. Let's take care of our person. Open casket funeral. Clean the body. <sighs> I missed him, Ka. She should be at home with her family. part is also gross. Okay, Mike will take care of her makeup and dressing. Starving, why do these things always make me so hungry? Well, there's a few reasons. You're always hungry. Me too, girly. Me too. It's so cold in here. I think they have the air conditioning on too high. Yeah, let's go for a walk later. It's really nice out. Would be good to stretch my legs. They have to keep it cold in there. I mean, come on. This feels so impersonal. She would have hated this. Exactly. Yeah, but I don't know. They must have had their reasons. Oh, hey, what do you think of that trailer I sent you? Oh, yeah, I heard that show was so good. I saw that what the video of the one kid actor doing karaoke. I guess sometimes you just gotta talk about anything at a funeral. Do you think we did the right thing? I feel bad not doing what Mom asked for. I know, honey, but that what that Chad guy said seems right. We don't want to dishonor her memory by letting her rot. But that wasn't necessarily what you were doing. But kind of... <sighs> yeah, I just want what Mom... I just want mom to know I loved her. I wish I hadn't yelled at her before. Oh god, that's... that's gotta hurt. It's okay, she knew you loved her. Fights happen, don't be hard on yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Me too. Well, I guess on the bright side, I get to pay respects. Otherwise, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do it if it was at their home, but... I still hate Chad! Down with Chad! Oh my god, is this my new one? Where I can have my tattoos out and I don't need to li listen to that fucking corporate asshole and... I 
Eileen Hansen to Charlie. Dear Charlie, haha. -ha! Today's the day already, isn't it? I can't believe how quickly this has come up. Thank you for your understanding and for your work. You've made today easier already. See you at 1 p.m. Uh, congratulations on your new business. Charlie, I'm so happy for you. I know it's been a rough year for you. Seriously, I think our wine intake saw a bazillion percent increase. Oh my god. But you've stuck through, <laughs> stuck through it all like a champ. You deserve this. Finally being your own boss is a great move for you. No more having to explain anything you, you don't want to. I'm trying not to be too cheesy right now. Can't wait to be home next week for our visit and to check out your new space. P.S. Have you heard about these green burial pods? When I find the link in my one million open tabs, I'll shoot it over to you. Uh, yay! Hey, Charlie, when I first became a hearse driver... Wait, what job I'm working now open this email to find out? It's like clickbait. You'll never believe what new job I'm working now. Open this email to find out. Oh. Uh, when I first became a hearse driver, I was told that my most important job wasn't steering. It was sympathizing. I respectfully disagree. And thankfully, I concentrated on my driving skills since I'm now working on as a, wait for it, bus driver. A school bus driver, Charlie, can you believe it? Pretty sure if I said the most important part of my job now wasn't steering, I'd be fired immediately. I didn't know how else to tell you. For some reason, I was worried you'd think less of me. But I don't know why. You've never been the judgmental kind. And besides, corpses are way easier to deal with than children. That's probably true. Screaming children, might I add. I actually love it. These kids can be pretty cute. But don't tell Amy that I told you that. She was always hopping on me for not having any kids and for being all cynical about them. Congrats on your new business, Charlie. I'm proud of you. I'll swing by your new place one day and show you my new wheels. Maybe we can grab a bite to eat. Yay, I'm glad he has a new job. There is a fly in my room. Magnolia Forest, funeral home and natural burial park. Our service, Magnolia Forest, named after the magnolia trees that surround the funeral home, specializes in at-home funerals and green burials in our natural burial park. Our goal is to empower families and encourage them to have a closer relationship with death and the dying process. The death of a loved one can be a confusing and sometimes traumatic time, and we want you to feel fully involved in your loved one's death care decisions. Whether you're looking to care for your loved one from the comfort of your home, be present during their cremation, or bury them in our natural cemetery, Magnolia Forest is here to work with you and provide these simple but intimate and meaningful options. Our natural burial park allows the body to return to the earth and recycle naturally. It is intended as an environmentally sustainable alternative to existing funeral practices. Our park has room for bodies of all sizes and ages, as well as beloved pets. Families also have the option to bury their loved ones themselves, if they so choose. That's probably a lot of work. But I'm glad that they offer the option. We believe in being transparent about our prices and practices. We are happy to explain all of our prices work within your budget and hope to make you feel comfortable and confident in your decisions. Let us know if we can answer any of your questions. Home funeral is 1000 Green burial and service is 2250 uh, All-inclusive. Infants are buried at no charge. We can provide a 3x3 plot and help, and help opening and closing the grave. That's, wow, that's really sweet. Because that's, that's fucking hard. Uh, direct cremation is $600, all-inclusive. Hell yeah! Fuck you, Chad! Charlie, dear, I'm so proud of you. I knew there was something special in you when I hired you for Frozen Daughters. If there is anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. P.S. I sorely miss you and Matthew's terrible sense of humor. <laughs> Yay. Well... I guess I'll see you soon, Miss Eileen Hansen, whoever you may be. Oh, she's wearing like a cute. <gasps> there, alrighty. This hurts. I thought it'd be easier, but it's not. It hurts so much. But thank you for helping me give her the funeral she always wanted. Anyway, I think we're ready to get started now. I would finish this pretty early because it, it's a pretty short game, but that was very sweet. Good job, Gabby Dorinzo and Andrew. Uh, good job, everybody. The Order of the Good Death, Death and the Maiden. I wonder what those are. Aw, 
love our friends and families at the end. That's so sweet. Pets, Meredith, Bastion, B, Future, Luna, and Tyler. Future's a really cool name for a pet. It's made in Unity. Arts, Ontario Arts Council. That's cool. In memory of Elaine Duranzo, Emile Engelman, Camille Kalajish. Kolo, Kolo, I hope I said that right. Uh, thank you for playing. Yay! Round of applause. That was very, very sweet. I liked that. Well, now I get to change my stream title because boom, bam, bop, we're going to switch to something that I think is supposed to be scary. So um, y'all just give me a quick little breaky break and I will get the new game set up and everything all changed over and then we'll get the spooks on. Yeah.